What's up, party people? It's Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live and in living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do you go? DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote. And maybe you can have me at your next event. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. What Makes You Smarter? And learn with me right here on the program. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, 10 things you need to know today for Wednesday, January 29th, 2020. 10 things you need to know today. Number one, Trump unveils peace plan seen as favoring Israel. President Trump on Tuesday unveiled a Middle East peace plan that would give Israel control of a unified Jerusalem as its capital and let it in the West Bank. The proposal also called for a Palestinian state but one with limited sovereignty and a capital in, quote, eastern Jerusalem, end quote, cut off from the rest of the city by an Israeli military barrier. Quote, my vision presents a win-win opportunity for both sides, end quote, Trump said. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stood by Trump's side as he announced the long-awaited plan. There was no Palestinian representative present. Palestinian President Mahoud Abbas called Trump's proposal the, quote, slap of the century, end quote, and thousands of Palestinians protested in Gaza and the West Bank. This is according to the New York Times and Reuters. Number two, Trump defense team concludes opening arguments in impeachment trial. President Trump's lawyers wrapped up the opening argument in their defense against charges that Trump abused his power by pressuring Ukraine to investigate Democrats. Trump's legal team argued against subpoenaing former National Security Advisor John Bolton to testify in the Senate impeachment trial, saying his testimony would be irrelevant. Quote, this should end now as quickly as possible, end quote. White House counsel at Cipollone said Bolton reportedly wrote in a draft of his upcoming book that Trump said last year He was withholding security to aid Ukraine until its leaders committed to investigating Joe Biden, a frontrunner for the Democratic presidential nomination. That news increased pressure from potentially key Republicans to have Bolton testify, which could derail the White House's push to finish the trial quickly. This is according to the Associated Press. Number three, report McConnell doesn't have the votes to block witnesses. During a meeting of Republican senators on Tuesday afternoon, GOP leaders announced that they do not have enough votes to stop witnesses from being called at President Trump's impeachment trial. The Wall Street Journal and the Associated Press report Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican Kentucky, did not share any numbers, but did acknowledge the votes aren't where he needs them to be. People with knowledge of the meeting said. The senators will vote later this week on whether to allow witnesses in the trial, and a new Quinnipiac poll shows 75% of the voters want to hear witness testimony. Trump's lawyers finished their opening arguments on Tuesday and declared the trial would end, quote, as quickly as possible, end quote, without any witnesses. This is according to the Wall Street Journal and the Associated Press. Number four. U.S. expands airport screenings in an effort to spot coronavirus. U.S. health officials on Tuesday expanded screening rules for international travelers in response to the fast-spreading coronavirus outbreak that started in China. Beijing has confirmed more than 4,500 infections and more than 106 deaths. Despite the increased precautions, health and Secretary Alex Azar said, quote, at this point, Americans should not worry for their own safety, end quote. Hong Kong on Tuesday said it would cut rail links to mainland China and reduce flights. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control 
and Prevention has expanded a travel warning to its highest level, urging U.S. citizens against travel to China after confirming a fifth case in the United States. This is according to the Associated Press and Time. Number five, all bodies recovered from crash site of Kobe Bryant's helicopter. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office announced Tuesday that search crews had recovered the remains of all nine people who died in the crash of basketball legend Kobe Bryant's helicopter, which crashed in heavy fog on Sunday. Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, two of her teammates, their parents, a coach, and the pilot died when the helicopter slammed into a hillside on the way to a youth basketball tournament. Bryant among the first four identified. Investigators are trying to determine what caused the tragedy. Some experts have said the weather, which had left some other aircraft grounded, could have been a factor. The chartered helicopter did not have a recommended warning system designed to alert the pilot the aircraft was too close to the ground. National Transportation Safety Board officials said. This is according to the New York Times. Number six, CBO, U.S. debt to reach 98% of GDP by 2030. The Congress office released a report Tuesday predicting U.S. debt will reach 98% of the country's GDP by 2030, up from the 81% the office foresees the deficit reaching by the end of 2020. The CBO projects the government will spend $1 trillion more than it collects in 2020. The prognostication is reportedly mostly a result of tax cuts and the assumption that the government will continue to increase spending. If the Trump administration tax cuts enacted in 2017 are extended beyond their current expiration at the end of 2025, the latest CBO estimates may fall short. CBO Director Philip Swagel expects the deficit level to eventually reach some historic highs, especially for a time of low employment. He said his office's projections will approach figures not seen, quote, since World War II, end quote. This is according to the Wall Street Journal. Number seven, UK provides some 5G equipment. Britain on Tuesday decided to allow Huawei to supply some 5G network equipment to wireless carriers, despite a warning from the Trump administration that it would stop sharing intelligence with any country that did not ban the Chinese tech giant. The British government's decision marked a first among major U.S. allies in Europe. The U.S. has been warned that doing business with Huawei could put government secrets at risk because Huawei could give China's government access to data, a charge Huawei denies. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab said the UK would never do anything to threaten its national security or that of its intelligence-sharing partners. Quote, we know more about Huawei and the risks that it poses than any other country in the world, end quote, Raab said. This is according to the Associated Press. Number eight, U.S. recovers remains of two crew members after plane crash in Afghanistan. The U.S. military on Tuesday recovered the remains of two crew members who died when a U.S. military surveillance plane crashed in Afghanistan. The U.S. disputed claims by the Taliban that members of the Islamist extremist group shot down the aircraft, a Bombardier E-11A. The crash occurred in Taliban-controlled territory in Ghazni province. The Pentagon had been, quote, treated with dignity and respect by the local Afghan community, end quote. U.S. forces recovered what was believed to be the flight's data recorder. Quote, the cause of the crash remains under investigation. However, there are no indications the crash was caused by enemy fire, end quote. The U.S. military statement said, this is according to Reuters. Number nine, number of Americans who sustain brain injuries in Iraq strike rises. The Pentagon said Tuesday that 50 American service members suffered brain injuries in an Iranian missile attack on al-Assad Air Base in Iraq on January 8th. 31 of the soldiers returned to duty after being treated in Iraq. 18 were transported to Germany for further evaluation. Immediately after the attack, 
President Trump said no Americans were injured. And as recently as last week, he dismissed the injuries as, quote, not very serious, end quote. Quote, I heard they had headaches, end quote, he said. Iran fired the missiles from its own territory in what it said was retaliation for the January 3 U.S. drone strike that killed a top Iranian general, Qasim Soleimani, in Baghdad. Number 10. Powerful earthquake hits in Caribbean between Jamaica and Cuba. A 7.7 magnitude earthquake struck Tuesday in the Caribbean Sea between Jamaica and Cuba. The quake center was six miles deep, about 70 miles northwest of Montego Bay, Jamaica. The powerful tremor, one of the most powerful on record in the Caribbean, caused severe shaking in western Jamaica, with light shaking on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, the U.S. Geological Survey said. The quake was felt as far away as Miami in South Florida, where several buildings were evacuated. Authorities issued a tsunami warning, but it was later lifted. There were no immediate reports of damage or injuries. The earthquake appeared to have been centered on the fault boundary between the North American and Caribbean plates. It was the fourth earthquake of magnitude 7 or greater recorded in the Caribbean since 2000. This is according to USA Today. That's 10 things you need to know today for Wednesday, January 29th, 2020. This has been What Makes You Smarter. Thank you for listening. I'm Keys Dan with RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here. If you like what you hear, I encourage you to follow What Makes You Smarter on social media. Find it on Facebook at What Makes You Smarter, Instagram at What Makes You Smarter, Twitter at Smarter What, and YouTube. Username, Keys Dan. Leave What Makes You Smarter podcast a review and subscribe. Listen to What Makes You Smarter podcast on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and Podcast Addict. My personal favorite? Learn with me on my podcast, What Makes You Smarter. And if you'd like to tell your story, I encourage you to check out my other podcast, What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Call 501-470-6386 and leave a message to set up a time for What Makes You Famous. Support What Makes You Smarter podcast using the PayPal, paypal.me forward slash keys dan email info at radio what.com what makes you smarter is a production of keys dan enterprises incorporated at keys dan.com thank you for listening thank you for listening thank you for